In America, bridal traditions include a wedding gown, something old and something new, something borrowed, and something blue. But for many Karen people, their marriage customs go hand in hand with their weaving traditions and attire, like a red sarong, a chemawa or a white dress, and many other woven accessories. Lynn V. Tien and her mother, Shi Pa, and their friend, Rosie Se, are all refugees from Myanmar or Burma and have continued their weaving traditions here in Minnesota. Back in the old day, uh, mostly the young girls, when they are like seven or eight, they already start learning how to weave. Like me, I learn from my mom. My mom, she start to learn how to weave when she was seven years old. And when she was 11 or 12, she knows how to do different patterns for everything. She knows how to do it by herself. Weaving is a fundamental current art and practice, but traditionally, it was more than just that. The clothes worn and woven by female artists revealed who she was as a Karen woman, including her marital status. Back in the old days, as a Karen culture, as a, uh, as a single woman, we supposed to wear only one dress. Why white? What does that represent? And the Korean culture, brides upgrade their attire to a sarong, which is a long and flowing and woven fabric that wraps around their waist. This change marks the rite of passage from singlehood to marriage. Traditionally, the girl family usually come to the girl seven days before, and they drink and cook and eat together. They do it like an engagement. After seven days, the meal come to the bright village and they have a wedding. And then the parents will give the bride the sarong to wear. If the bride mother know how to weave, yeah, she weave for her daughter. And also, if the daughter know how to weave, she weave by herself. They're usually kind of red, right? I don't know how to trust it. <laughs> For our region, after we marry, we're supposed to wear the sora, so it shows we are no longer single. Weaving is a part of the Korean culture. We are Korean, and we should know our culture, and we should know where we are from, and especially for the 
your younger generation and we want our young generation to know their roots to know like our culture and our identity and we don't want this to disappear ยานิโอดาคิกลือตะลือเปปีปะพีปะโมเยาเวทะปายะอพมุนอเมอเนอพมุนอพุทธะควานอเนทะปายะเราเดเนยะตะเมทอบกะลานิอะเวเพวะก